Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? What can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, To what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Yesterday I had the opportunity to go see the new movie uh, from Angel Studios, After Death. Some of you may have already seen it, but there was, there, there was one particular line in it that, that moved me deeply. Um, much of it did, and, 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 it, and it reflects directly our gospel today. The this, this study of uh, near-death experiences and the scientific realities behind it and the spiritual realities behind it is what the movie's about. It's done very well. It, it has uh, multiple approaches. And not every near-death experience is one of joy, light, happiness, and peace. There's one in particular that was one very devastating and sad, but turned out very well and changed the man's life after a life of uh, debauched living and drug addiction and trying to take his own life. He, he returned and became a chaplain in the army after he was on his way to the netherworld, as we know. But most of them were, were, were amazing stories about things that we can only imagine. To compare it to anything here on earth was impossible for most of these people. Yet it is possible to understand where it all begins and what, 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 what is it wrapped up in. Jesus brings us this difficult reality of trying to compare the kingdom of God to something on earth. And he does it in very small ways. It's compared to a mustard seed. Plant the mustard seed, go away for a while, come back, and there's an amazingly large bush there from the little tiny seed. We see this in everything about our lives, whether it's the seed of a woman and, 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 a, and a man producing a human being that can radically change the outcome of the world. That's ultimately the message that we have here today. How are we in our littleness to change the outcomes of the world? We see this mostly in saints, as tomorrow we, we, be, we prepare to celebrate all saints and where we will be in that reality. We celebrate the ones that have gone before us, but are we celebrating what is possible right here and now with even our littleness? That's why I believe it is very important for us to understand it's not about the mag magnificent things that we possibly can do. It's in the little things. It's in the fact that Mother Teresa, who we hold as a great, great saint, barely went four miles outside her, of her own convent and changed the world where she was. Or my favorite in these direct issues about littleness, Therese of the Zoo, whom nobody at her time knew of her. And she died at 24 and is a doctor of the church. In her littleness and her little way, speaks volumes to the world and she becomes a doctor of the church because of that little way which reminds every believer in Jesus Christ every follower within the church it's not in these great things that we have to do well I went to church every Sunday I went to holy days and I went to confession once a year no it's in the little things every day the little tiny things that we don't even think about it's in the interactions the smiles we give the words we speak, how do they affect the world in their littleness? The two, the, the one thing that affected me from the movie was very clear is one man woke up from a horrible accident and didn't want to come back from what his experience was. And he just basically said, it's, it's about love. It's all about love. It's all about love. And I said, yep, that's it. No need to see any other NDE story or movie. It's just simply our life here is about love. 
and how that love is communicated in the little things. And when, the one, when there's one woman who, who, who drowned and was, was gone for 30 minutes, she, she re- recollected that in her moments away, her moments during her near-death experience, she was allowed to see the ripple effect of her life. And she said, I saw it 30 generations into from the moment of even the littlest word that I said, good or bad, and how it affected people 30 30 degrees set apart from the moment she said it. That's our life. If we thought about that, I certainly believe we would think twice about some of the things we might say to one another, even the things we might do to one another. And know, know very well that even the simple act of a smile to somebody who's having a bad day affects their lives. The energy we give, that energy of love which comes from God alone, is an energy to be pushed out to a world that is lost and in pain and suffering. And for us as believers in Jesus Christ is to know that, to know every little thing we do matters. It all matters. How we treat one another, how we speak to one another, how we think about one another. Jesus was very adamant on that, about even telling us every, every, every thought and every word, nothing will be hidden. And nothing was hidden from the people in this film. If you get to see it, you'll understand quickly. It was all shown to them. All of that, good and evil alike. And for us who know Jesus Christ, who seek to be with him for all eternity, know very well it is in the very littlest things of our days, day after day, that matter. It isn't in waiting to do a big thing. Or I went to church on Sunday, so now I can do whatever I want the rest of the week. We know that's not true. But does anybody else, even within our church? And what about the people out there who don't know Christ? You may be the only interaction they have with Jesus today. Do it well, do it small, and it will become great. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.